keep this up. Sweet! I did it! Hell yeah! It's over, man. And to think, if you just let him be, Sawashiro would have never squealed. But now, when he finds out you and the young master tried to off him, I think he might just spill everything. Either way, you failed the young master. Can't wait to see what he does to you for that! Kawa-san! Admit it, Ishiyoda! Admit you killed him! After I said goodbye to him that night, he had dinner with Hoshino at Heian Tower! And as he left, you shot him! Point blank range, you asshole! <coughs> All under the command of Rio Alki. Right? orders. <laughs> but somebody got in my way. You got him? Oh yeah, got him all lined up. Huh? Stop! He's not alone. Oh, damn. Is that... Hmm. Hello. Well done. Acting Captain. I was so impressed when I found out you were planning to disband the Sotenbori Yakuza. I couldn't believe you were willing to brand yourself a traitor to the Tojo clan for years. You must be one hell of an actor. Well, keep in mind, it wouldn't have worked if you hadn't sided with Watase and me. We only did it by the skin of our teeth. 
One misstep, and they would have called the whole thing off. And we'd be feeding the worms in the HQ garden. I'm just saying, give yourself some credit. No, oh, I was just caught up in the moment, holding on to your coattails. I figured it was my chance. A fight like that comes once in a lifetime. You know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> you truly are fearless. Oh, not really. You think so? Let me ask you, Tendo. What's your plan now? I gotta head right back to Kamarucho and report to Ryoaoki. Will you be okay? Me? Oh yeah, don't worry. What are those fucking traitors whispering about? You want me to take them both out? It'd be easy. <laughs> really? That easy for you? <laughs> yeah, I'll take a two for one deal. Is that your official order? Not that I've got misgivings, I'm just making sure, boss. Yeah, Arakawa first. Kill him in one shot. All right, Arakawa as the appetizer. What's wrong? Well, he... You shitheads. Ishioda, you always do this. Jump the fucking gun. Makes it easy for me to get two steps ahead of you. Stayed alive up till now. Tendo. Ishioda, there is no Omiyo Dojo anymore. The golden age of the Yakuza is at an end. The Omi Alliance might have seemed unsinkable to you. But it's scuttled now. Time to abandon ship. Shut the hell up, old man. The Omi and Sotin Bori got crushed because they let themselves get split in half. <sighs> uh, 
<laughs> it's funny though. When one door closes, another one always seems to open. Guess I've been lucky like that. And I know opportunity when I see it. As a boxer, I never got my shot at the top. But now it's finally here. Kind of funny, isn't it? This piece of shit didn't kill the boss. It wasn't Ishoda. It was Tendo. Where's Tendo now? Looks to me like he failed. <laughs> Ishioda always did do sloppy work. Well, good thing we were watching it go down. Your orders? Go on. <laughs> Give that button a push. Yes, sir. Hello, people of Ijincho. Election day is tomorrow, and Sota Kume is here with a final campaign message. The Citizens Liberal Party is proud to endorse him. As the head of Yokohama's Bleach Japan branch, his attacks on the Grey Zone speak for themselves. We should all be inspired by how he persevered despite being ridiculed as an idealist many times in his career. But 
He stayed true to his beliefs, cleaned up our town, and has earned Governor Alki's deepest trust. him to this campaign, which is not just about the second district. His support is national. He not only has Governor Alki's endorsement, but also that of Bleach Japan branches all across the country. The Citizens Liberal Party is the only party serious about cracking down on gray zones. Someday, every last one of them will be purged. With our support, Sotakume and Real Alki will see Japan reborn. Clean, fair, and beautiful. So we beseech all of you to vote with courage. For the good of Japan, wash the gray away. Bleach Japan clean. Everyone, please take a trip down memory lane with me for a second. Think back to two years ago, when nobody thought this city would ever be free of its criminal element. People said the new Kamaro police station would amount to little more than a street decoration. But now, look around you. The Tojo clan, a plague upon our city for countless years, is nowhere to be seen. Kamurocho has been completely reborn as a city that stands up for what is right. And if we can do it here, we can do it everywhere. Chair Aoki is the magician making crime disappear, and Bleach Japan is his magic wand. After this, you're scheduled to give a three-minute speech from the truck. Then we'll leave Shinjuku and be on our way, Mr. Oh. Hmm? What's the matter? 
I'm sorry, should I refer to you as party chair instead of governor? Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. It's tough when someone has two titles, isn't it? But you can keep calling me the governor if that's what you're used to. That work? <laughs> Certainly rolls off the tongue better anyway. Uh, of course, sir. Thank you for clearing that up. Will this be a live broadcast? Oh, yes. Some of these media outlets have been camped out here for your speech since noon. I see. <laughs> Honestly, it feels like I'm in a dream. Why? Well... I've been working my whole life to have this kind of influence. I slowly climbed up society's ladder, which, for politicians, has vipers slithering on every rung. Unfortunately, I'm not sure I avoided growing a pair of fangs myself. No. Oh. I don't believe you're the type to do that. <laughs> well, beliefs are different from the truth. Mr. Governor... It's not like I ever caused any harm. In truth, any laws I broke really didn't matter. And at least I had a real goal, unlike the others who made empty promises with no intent to keep them. Me? I actually believed in what I said. And now... Now you have the power to follow through on it, to do what's just. Governor, Sensei, your situation wasn't uncommon. Everyone's had to break a few eggs to make an omelet. When it's a noble ideal you're striving for, there are always sacrifices to be made. History proves that to us. Wow. Oh, I I'm sorry. That was out of line. No, I needed to hear that. Thank you. <sighs> well, they're waiting for me out there. They sure are. Go out there and show them just how noble your goals are, Governor. I will.
Thank you for your patience, everyone. We appreciate you sticking around. It's my distinct pleasure to introduce our next honored guest. You all know him as the beloved governor of Tokyo, but now he's also the party chair of the CLP. He's been running around all over the country preparing for the big election tomorrow, but as always, he's made time for Kamurocho. Please give a warm welcome to Ryoaki! Good evening. Ladies and gentlemen, please give yourselves a hand for coming out here tonight. Thank you. Thank you. I, I can't tell you how grateful I am for all your passionate support. We couldn't do this without you. Excuse me! Excuse me, good people of Kamurocho! My name is Ichiban Kasuga, and I'm running for Kanagawa District 2! People have been talking about me like I died in an explosion in Ichin Show, but I'm just fine. In fact, I feel great, and I couldn't pass up this chance to shake Governor Aoki's hand. I'm here! Turns out I'm alive and well! Hey, can all of you in the back see me? Don't be scared, I'm not a ghost! Seriously, take my picture! I'm show up! I'm the living, breathing Ichiban Kasuga! I survived that explosion in Eugene Show. That's just how tough guys like me roll. And speaking of tough guys, can I just say, I've got mad respect for Aoki Sensei. Even though he's endorsing my opponent, I came all the way from Kanagawa's 2nd District today, just to shake Aoki's hand. So with all you good people's permission, I'd like to borrow Aoki-sensei for just a minute. your mind? Get down from here! It's fine. Let him through. I know you ordered Captain Sawashiro to kill Arakawa-san. Don't try to deny it. The captain told me so himself. In fact, he even said there's a recording of you given the order. And it's somewhere inside the Arakawa family office in the Millennium Tower.
So we're going to do a little office raid tomorrow before the polls close. That recording's gonna be plastered on every corner of the internet. We're going to ruin you, young master. If a recording like that actually existed, you wouldn't be warning me about it. You're bluffing. If you think it's a bluff, that's no skin off my nose. <laughs> you know, now I understand why Arakawa-san was so worried about you. Right up to the end, so is Sawashiro. You let it all go to your head, man. It's like you forgot what honor is.